okay in this lesson we are going to see how to do these things so first we are going to learn how to duplicate evenly with even spacing you can see this chair has uh, some you no know, wooden parts which has even spacing in between them and this part we are going to see how to do this uh, this area which is a like the different safe here and this this part we are going to do so let's start from this part first so that's a cube and the plan is to bevel one is okay so let's do that so let's take a cube here so again the it's said to the interactive creation so i don't need this right now so interactive creation off click again okay go to select tool here so this is my cube and let's go to the side view so now if you, you, you can see my full view are meshed off now instead of side view i'm getting perspective here so just click here on this icon if you oh, see something like this you should have perspective here top here side here and sorry front here and side here so now instead of front i have side, uh, perspective so just click here okay so now i have front view uh, don't get confused by this name and this chair uh, angle because actually we have done this this is the front camera but our chair is like facing to the chair side is facing towards the front so that's totally fine you don't have to like do the model front to this front it's not necessary but if you do that that's again good so let's select this cube and move this cube to the right location here if you check the image it's uh, this part is on top of this part so and it's again matching with that angle so let's select this part and let's try to scale it or you can in use the inputs so this x axis is the width so let's decrease the width again just select it hold middle mouse and drag on, uh, drag on the view somewhere in the blank area so let's select it and again just let hold control to precisely adjust that option okay move it i think it's perfect just a little bit adjustment select hold control and yes you can see now i can just use these vertices and i'm trying to get that angle overall okay good then i can i think i should have rotated that but i think that's fine this is a new style okay so i think we should do that so let's undo it rotate this instead of changing the vertices like this put this here and this this should be adjusted so go to vertex and then move this like this just be careful and i'm moving in a particular orthographic axis okay so now i have this let's scale this piece like this okay let's check the thickness or height i think it's fine maybe a little bit bigger than what i want here so let's oh sorry let's go to this view select all these vertices here so let's make it a little small one okay now let's see how to do this shape you can see it has almost three corner one corner is round so i can achieve this by beveling this single edge so select it go to edit mesh bevel now you can see in the image it's it's a big round shape here so it it, it doesn't look like our previous bevels okay which uh, which were still corner but uh, having a little bit uh, like round corner but here it's totally round from this corner it's like getting this curve so that's why here the fraction is very important don't make it tight so it's a big bevel and the segment 
is also important you need to put some more bevel lines here segments so that this curve looks smooth let's put some fraction more now you can see this this curve here and after this bevel i'm going to bevel again these corners if i go to object mode you can see these these edges are not matching with these edges so we're going to bevel these edges so i'm going to select all these edges so in order to select all these edges you can do it easily by just select everything and hold control and drag these edges i don't want these edges but i think i want this as to be included so hold shift and click on this as i think we want these edges perfect we just don't want these edges so now let's go to bevel again and do the bevel so again adjust the fraction try to match with this piece and segments put some segments here okay good so okay sorry i didn't adjust this one so that's fine i can duplicate it again so let's select this the pivot would be here so control d and then put some minus here it's fine okay then let's do this evenly spacing part so now let's create one we can do i think reuse these things let's say if we can reuse these things maybe so let's let's create new one so let's take a cube go to side view i always change this view that's my habit of changing the views through this marking menu so let's select it go to width height depth i can just select everything and mirror mouse drag to make it a smaller piece first okay so just select everything hold control middle mouse drag i can rotate it to get this angle then again change the height here like this okay when you have rotated this and the move tool axis is still like world axis now the y axis is set to this world axis if you want to change this move tool axis to this object axis you just need to do uh, you just need to go to the move tool settings and change this world to object just click on this triangle here and you'll get this menu select object you can see the move tool axis is set to the object now it works when you have the rotation value here if you don't have the value here it it will like stick to this world axis so now let's move it rotate this try to match this angle move this here so that it intersect with this piece i think i think that's set to yeah that's there let's go to perspective here we don't oh, we want a bottom piece there again i could have used that but let's see yeah so i i want to increase the height a little bit you can see this object move is very handy here in this situation okay it should be it should be less thicker than this or at least it should be matched with this thickness and let's do the bevel first before we duplicate so select edit mesh bevel Decrease the fraction here segment maybe one or two you don't have to put a lot of segments there one or two would be sufficient here okay then let's move to here and let's let's see how we can duplicate evenly with even spacing okay so the process is 
uh, first duplicate it manually by just using your control D or duplicate normal duplicate and you can see there is the option called duplicate with transform which is shift D okay so first we need to duplicate the normal duplicate so duplicate then move move the distance you want in between them like I release that and don't do anything then go to edit duplicate with transform the shortcut is shift D you can see if I press shift D again 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 it's keep duplicating with that same distance but make sure let me do this again for you so let's duplicate it uh, the first time control D move don't do anything if you like deselect and select it again and shift D it won't work okay so that means you you can't deselect it control D move then you need to shift D shift D without deselecting it okay so like this so you can do like this then the last piece would be this piece you can do that easily I think you can do that easily by just go to create I think just select it make live and go to create polygon interactive creation cube now this is an angle piece so so let me just roughly let's create then we can change it okay then yeah then rotate it make sure you always rotate from a particular axis like this and scale it to match this thickness again I am inside that object mode it's like crossing inside if it's in intersecting with this piece that's totally fine you don't have to be so precisely like uh, precisely set the height you don't have to if it's intersecting that's fine so let's do this here Okay, it should be a little bit less thicker than this piece here. Okay, and do the bevel thing. Edit mesh bevel. Segment maybe one or two. That's sufficient. Okay. So that's it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to see how to do this sheet.